Hey guys and welcome back to another Fallout Fridays. In our last video we helped out Paladin Dance, however today I thought we could do this quest. Um, Preston Garvey wants me to travel here and talk to the settlers at Oberlin Station. So we're going to do that. I'm setting off from Diamond City as it's slightly closer. So yeah, I mean, hopefully there's no ghouls on where. We got purified water inside the Jeez, that made me jump slightly. <laughs> Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the sign. No, I've been to Diamond City. We're off to Oberlin Station today and of course we've got doggy woggy with us as well come on doggy i just received a comment from happy haunter hello happy haunter how are you today the hell was that It was quite quiet to be honest. I thought something might leap out at me and frighten the hell up. Who the heck is that? Back off, this is mine. Shut up. Bloody mine. Sweet roll. Hmm. Might munch that later. There's a few fellas around here and stuff, isn't there? Come here. What's that just stood there? You are guy. Oh, now you come to life. <laughs> oh dear. Now oh, I'm glad to hear that you're good. Happy haunter. Mr. Flipping Gutsy. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, are you serious? This weapon's shocker, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have come over here in the first place. <laughs> oh my word. Let me just see if we've got a different weapon. Because that one's doing absolutely shocking. Try this rifle out. It's slightly better. Why has he only got one arm? One leg? Sorry, not one arm. Please don't say you're going to be one to kill me. Oh, down he goes. You got all good on you. That's your bloody egg. Mr. Flipping Protectron in here. There we go. All of that just because we want to check out what that fella were doing. Well, I almost did die, but managed to save it. Just. <laughs> Oh well, bit of robot action. So this place looks like a little shop with carrots. Actually, I'll take those because I can put them um, in sanctuary. Which I have been building up actually, so in next week's video, if you'd like me to show you what I've done with my settlement, just let me know in the comments. 
And uh, I'll do that. Oh shit, he's a suicider as well. No! Back off, I'm running. Run! Run, doggy! I ain't got any bombs at all. Oh, got any grenades? Oh, that did it. That did it. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, that car's gonna blow up. Oh! Yeah, just... How close was I to dying then? Wow. Wow. Oh, someone's shooting. Who's shooting? Can't even see him. Probably not. No, I'll probably end up getting killed by you, but... Okay, yes. Sneaky git. Flipping hiding out there. Couldn't see him. He just blends in. Camouflage with your dirty green skin. And I can't shoot once again. <laughs> Super Mutant's orders. Did he get ordered to kill me, did he? Right. No, I just had nuclear material. Bugger all. Come on, doggy. Says him up for the dog, I mean, at least he didn't get taken down. Usually he's crying. I'm getting closer to this Oberlin station. I think it's Raider Troubles that they've got, so... I hope they've got some stim packs. <laughs> Stocked up on stim packs. God, this place looks a bit shabby, doesn't it? Hello, I'm here. Can I help? Oh no, just gonna get stuck on some wire first. How are you doing, love? Excuse me. Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, they did. What is yes, the problem? I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone, stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. You never put it down. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. No, I'll just one man band here. I'll go on my own. I'm just gonna check out where they are on the map. It's supposed to be close by and usually they're not. Well they are actually. Not too far away. So that's okay. I usually they say, oh, just jump the road. Keep going and bothering us, and you look on your map and they're at the other side. Jesus, doggy. The heck is that? It's all like scratch marks. Oh, it's mushrooms. <laughs> What's that big in this game that do scratch marks up there? Bloody mushrooms. Uh, also, I did purchase Skyrim last week when it came out on its release date. If you want to watch some gameplay of Skyrim, just let me know uh, and I'll do some streaming of Skyrim as well, because that's all open world. Well, no one's jumping out at us today. I half expected a flipping death claw to just jump out from nowhere, but obviously not. I'm gonna stood on your head then, doggy. Yeah, we're gonna go up these stairs. Have a look. Oh, I'm getting closer now. There'll be someone round here ready to kick off. As it usually is.
Andrew, you're making all noise today, aren't you? What's up, doggy, eh? We're all right, we're nearly there. Failed to help defend Tempire's Bluff. Didn't even know I got that mission, but okay. Backstreet Apparel. Oh! Right, all we're here. Shit. Step on a mine or something. There's another turret somewhere. Oh, right, I see. I see it. Oh, shit. Never mind, eh, dog? <laughs> Dear me. Oh. A little chem box. I'll take. Take them. I'm uh, guessing we're going to go in here and take everyone out. Either that or they're going to take me out. Yeah, I have a bit of fire love. Fucking hell! I did not expect it to go all the way around the room. Oh, well done, doggy. You took him down. You're making me stuck. Get out of here. Oh. I always forget to reload. I just go charging in. Why do they put turrets in a trolley? It makes no sense to me. I'll have changes going again in a minute. Because I haven't got many bullets. Oh, my arm! My arm is broken! It's not going to be mattering because you're dead. Doggy! Get out of the way! Come on! A lot of stuff that she had older, that was all. No, are you? I'm quite wide awake. I'm guessing there's a boss guy because there's the red thing. Oh, in here? Stim packs or anything? No? Ribcage? Lovely. Not sure that'd help. Why don't you just leave those poor people at Oberlin Station alone? Clutch! <laughs> what a name! <laughs> to be fair, that was a great shot. Just chuck that Molotov straight at their head. Yeah, I bet you have. Right, let's just have a wild guess. If we don't get this right, then never mind. I'm just doing absolutely shocking. Pass has got two. I don't know. No. Never mind, I'm no good at these. I'm locked out for 10 seconds. I'm not too bothered about. Left. I'm still here. I'm just robbing everything. Becoming a raider like you. No sign of them now. No. Oh, pin. God, they're having the right chat, aren't they? These guys. Got it. I got it. I got it. Jesus. Why are you always in such a hell as that? With me coming up the stairs. Hello. Oh, you make me jump. <laughs> Go on, doggy. I'll smash your face. You bite her arm. Oh, that's how it's done. Oh, I'm gonna have your Molotov cocktail as well. I 
love how there's a traumatic explosion from a Molotov. It's brilliant. Wrong thing. Doggy, you're in my way once again. Always in the flaming way. Either. Won't be able to pick this. Lags behind. And darts past me and makes me flaming jump thinking he's some sort of rad scorpion. Or he just stands in front of me. Well, I'm not better than that computer, I suppose. The fans. Hang on. In the fence by Diamond City. Well, apparently not, because I'm on a roof. And I don't think. Doggy found something where. Oh no. What you found? Oh no. Oh, a box, I see. I found the box, not bloody you. Can I jump down without dying? That is the question. Oh, well, yes, I can. Right. Now to lug it back. Oh, that's the boat where we cleared out those raiders before. Well, my woman sounds out of breath. <laughs> to be fair, I haven't made her go to sleep since I started, so she's probably been awake for of well over a week. So I'd be quite tired as well. Oh, I knew, I knew there'd be a goal. Why do I say a goal? Where were you earlier? Eh? When I said I hope no flaming ghouls jump out on me. I just had to make your way out here, didn't you? You ain't got no little buddies hanging around anywhere, have you? I can't stand ghouls. I think they're the worst thing on this game. Walk around all slow. And then the second they see you, I don't know, they just get some sort of adrenaline rush and leap on you and it frightens the bloody hell out of me especially when you're in first person they come up behind you oh come on love you're nearly there you don't need to be out of, out of breath do you really go and chat to this bird down here and let her know that her home's safe Oh, Raiders are dead. And Preston Garvinator wants you to join the cause. Hello! I'm back! I took care of those Raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Well, you could I look at me when you say it. We've talked about it. And we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. How rude are you? S standing there and didn't even look at her. And then I turned to look at her. Oh, you ignorant cow. Look at her, she'll turn it first. Right, now we've got to go and see Mr. Preston Garvinator. I'm going to be really lazy. Well, I say really lazy. It's quite a long way to walk, actually. <laughs> um, fast travel to see him. Actually you'll see some of the little bit of building that I've been doing. I haven't done loads but I've done some. I 
I hate loading screens as well. Hello again. Happy Haunter. <laughs> you want to leave us a, a message and say hi? I will talk back. <laughs> I'm busy. Hey, excuse me, I've come to talk to Mr. Garvey. Not you, Sturges, so shift your ass. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. Yeah. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Vicious Once beasts? Out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth okay. one piece at a time. You just died, Happy Haunter. What, what killed you? Can it wait? What is your problem, honestly? Every time I walk past you, calm down, sunshine. Jesus, how rude! Right, so <laughs> Stur just completely threw me off course of what I was saying. Where? So, Mr. Gardner wants us to go to Starlight Driving. Now I'm gonna run here because. Otherwise, it just makes me look like a right lazy bitch. Just fast travelling here, there and everywhere. Oh yeah, also I've got Red Rocket to sort out as well. I haven't done anything with Red Rocket. Still exactly the same as when we left it. But to be honest, I think we left it back in episode two, so. Never mind, uh, Jesus, that doesn't have glow, that cave. Let's go check this building out over here and see what it is. While we're on his way to Starlight Driving. Are we driving or drive through? I'm not sure. Never mind. We'll find out when I get there and discover it. No, I don't want no bloody wild muck fruit. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's some freaking rad stag things. I'm safe. I don't need to freak out. Is this freaking bushes everywhere? Oh, oh, well, Jesus Christ! No, come on! I thought it were a dead guy, and it's a flipping ghoul. Are you taking the absolute piss? I'm sure this game knows I hate ghouls. Do you see what I mean? That won't just come out of flipping nowhere. Leave my doggy alone. Sorry. <laughs> Set him on fire. Are they all dead? I hope so. And they never carry out good on them. Freaking dog tag. I bet one of them's got a cup of it. Yeah, a spoon. <laughs> they never. Oh, that one has a couple of bottle caps, I suppose. But they never carry out good on them. No, I can't get up there, it's made me stuck. Is that, yeah. Get back down! I don't want you anywhere near me. Look, another one with a flaming spoon. Ready to eat your brains, obviously. Do you not know Halloween's been and gone? Yeah. I'll just leave all that crap there. Right. 
carry on. Do you know what? Funnily enough, I haven't died yet. And I'm sure I said in episode one, I was going to die. I, mean, I think I've said it in every episode that I'm going to die. But I haven't died yet. And I've probably just completely jinxed myself. And when I get here, someone's going to wipe me clean out. And then we'll all be laughing, won't we then? What the hell's going on up here? I thought I cleared these geezers! Come on, now! Oh, what a shot! Go on, Lara, lass! God, look at that blood coming out of him. I'm sure there's another one on there. Where's he gone? Hello? You safe, yeah? You're not getting your gun out shooting no one, no. You're still off your tits, so. <laughs> oh, they actually killed him. <laughs> Look at his face with his little mask on. Sorry, I can't stop the chat. I'm on my way to take out some little beasts or something. Can't remember what Preston said. Why's your flaming fences everywhere? Well, we're nearly there. I'm guessing this is it here. More fencing, obviously. Ah, drive in, not drive through. There we go. That's a bit far, isn't it? Oh, yep, just break me bobby pin. You're not gonna let me in, no? Oh, you are taking the absolute. Yeah. Got it. Finally! Door took the piss. Well, I'm not gonna pick up all that I don't need, because this place, I'm guessing. Is a settlement, so oh well, it will be a settlement when I finish with it. But I'll do that off camera, cause it'll take ages. Oh, anyone for a barbecue? No, just me. God, that's a big freaking knife, a machete. Mind you, I don't like what they've been eating. Rad or a hutch? Ugh. No thanks. Oh, I've got a little baby in here. Where are you? You keep flipping darting off. Oh, you know what? It's probably not decent if you just done one. Did it go up here? Oh shit. Run, love. What's that? Can, some duct tape. Take the duct tape. Oh, we're near Deathclaw hide. It's uh, slightly worrying. Oh, I thought I was going to just jump straight off edge then. No, I don't know where Doggy ended up. It's buggered off. Oh, no! <laughs> Come on! Flaming mole rats and ghouls! Reloading. That's a rapid one, is that one? There's little shit. Oh, radiation. Why do they use get to pop up out of the ground? Come on, then. Ah, 
I, why am I just taking him out, hitting him? Oh, well, I suppose it's better than not being able to shoot. <laughs> Build and activate a recruitment radio beacon. Right, let's go and do that. Oh, God. I hope this door doesn't take the piss. Yeah, it's, of course it is. Wreck all my bobby pins. Because they're so easy to find. Yes. Whee! Right. It's like we're going to workshop mode. What do we need? What's it under? It's under power. Misc. Oh, we've got everything anyway. It needs some power. Whack that down there. Get a little generator. There we go. Attach a wire. Boom! And presto, we've done it. Back to you. No, oh, well, there's a room at that starlight driving to be able to do stuff with in this concord I think it is okay that's a quarry or something over there well, I'm getting quite brave now so I'm running around without my weapon out Obviously, a lion or something. But I don't. I say that I'm looking everywhere, <laughs> looking for something ready to come and get me, but it's not doing. Why does the dog constantly cry? Every time you walk, mm -hmm. that's how you hear. Like, they've hurt the paw or. Something. Why didn't Preston and his crew just come and live here? Take over a couple of houses and stuff, board them up, put some walkways on the room. If there is any settlements, hang on. You got thrown off the bridge. In episode one, why are you back, sir? You're getting chucked back off here. Oh, <laughs> I did that last time as well. Smashed his face against bridge. Go on, get down there. That's where you live. You're the troll under the bridge, keeping us all safe. Yeah. Weird. Oh look, he's in the house that I made. Mind you, I say I made it. It's just one of those prefab ones. Lazy goose sleeping long. Get up! I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. Yeah, come on. Get out of bed. Is he pissed in it at all, dirty gear? <laughs> That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. Really? I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. More settlement supporting their cause. I'm not even back five minutes, and you're sending me straight back out. You don't even say how are you. Nordegan Beach. Honestly. Are you, are you going back to bed? Yeah? Just chill out round here while you send me on another flaming quest. It's lazy. Who the hell is it? Sturges. Just it's wanted gonna... to trade a few things. No, I just wanted to get out of bed just for pissing me off early. Go on, get out of bed, you lazy git. Wow, he's magic. Look. <laughs> and that freaky old lady. Yeah, all I've been doing at 
century was I built this, which it doesn't look like much, does it really? But it is going to be my shopping area. I'm going to have all the little trading things, um, you know, that you can buy things from. I think I'll put a radio recruitment beacon thing up here. Get, pull some more people in so I've got more people to go behind the stalls um, and then yeah I'll be able to come in here buy my armor buy my weapons buy my ammo food drink clothing everything like that and also also be able to sell it as well um, so yeah that's all this this is really for so I've been building but I mean we've only got how many people have we got five we've only got five people and all their needs are actually taken care of within that little house over there. I put all the beds in there. I've put them lighting up. I've done a water thing down in the river. I put some food down in the gardens back here and stood the fencing back up to make it look a bit more neater. Obviously that looks like it's floating a little bit. And they're not linked up but it doesn't really matter. You know, it's just to make it look a bit better. I mean, this one's got me my potatoes. But my my initial plan was to put melons, gourds, everything in the ground. Goes there. I mean, yes, I know they all grow in the ground, but you know, like melons, they are actually on the floor, and then your standing ones will all go here, and then corn and stuff. I think I might put corn in with that as well, but just do half of it. And then I might do the fruit plants or trees, the little tree looking ones, and put them in here as well. And also the grazer grain, which is the tall, tall looking grass, and put that in there. And then I've got three separate gardens, all with different foods in. That was my initial plan. Whether that happens or not, well, who knows? For some reason, I can't find my weapon workbench. That I don't know where. I must have got rid of it. But I can't build another one because I need my science up. So, moo to you too. Has Jean come down yet? Oh yeah, thank God for that. <laughs> don't know where he is though. The miserable sod. Anyway, right guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Let me know who you want me to see in the next one. Do you want me to go and see um, Paladin Dance? Do you want me to go and see Nick Valentine? Do you want me to do some more missions for Preston, even though he is so demanding? It is an absolute joke. But yeah. Let me know in the comments. Um... If you like this video, please do leave us a like. Consider subscribing, please. I do this every Friday with the Fallout. If you'd like to see me to do Skyrim, it's perfectly fine. I'll um, stream Skyrim on a Wednesday afternoon. If you'd like to see that. So, yeah. But thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.